Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you make cold process soap, you know that the very hardest part of cold process soap making is the waiting. Well, I'm here with a tip and a trick for an ingredient you can use to shorten how long it takes to get your soap into the mold and out of the mold. It is sodium lactate. Now, if you're in the soap making world and you're like, well, this isn't really a new ingredient, Anne-Marie, what is up with you? You're totally right. It's not new, new, but I will say when I started making soap 20 or 30 years ago at this point, this wasn't around. We had to wait for our soap to harden for like seven to 10 days. Eek. You don't have to do that though. So this video is all about how to use it, what percentages to use it, and what to do about it in hot process soap. If you haven't started adding this to your recipes, well, once you start to soap with it, you will not go back. So what is sodium lactate? Sodium lactate is the fermentation of sugar, usually found in naturally derived things like corn or beets, that turns into the sodium salt of lactic acid. So the main benefit uh, in soap is that it helps your soap to release more cleanly and more easily and with more shine. Another natural thing about it is that it is a humectant, which means it naturally draws moisture to itself, making your entire bar, your entire batch of soap more moisturizing. Because it is a natural humectant, it does also make it a fantastic ingredient for leave-on products like lotions, but we'll cover that in another video. Sodium lactate is typically found in a liquid form. It's extremely shelf stable. It's kind of thick, kind of syrupy, and when stored properly, it will last for several years. It's odorless, so you won't even notice any additional smell or anything when you add this to your soap. In cold process soap, sodium lactate is typically added to the lye water. The percentage used is between one and 3% when using the liquid form of sodium lactate. I like to do one teaspoon of sodium lactate for every one pound, so 16 ounces of oil in my recipe. It's a little bit of a personal preference. You can use all the way up to 3%. You can also do weight measurements versus the volume, but since it's not part of the saponification process of the recipe, you can use volume, which I find to be easier. Sodium lactate will not accelerate trace in your recipe, making it an ideal additive. So let's give this a real life example. This is Brambleberry's 10 inch silicone loaf mold, one of our most popular molds. It takes exactly 32 ounces of oil to fill this recipe when you add in, of course, the lye and the water. And so what that means is for this, since it's 32 ounces of oil or two pounds of soap, I would use two teaspoons added directly to my lye water. Now, if you want to go by weight, that's about 0.9 ounces of sodium lactate by weight. So let's talk about sodium lactate in hot process soap. So you use sodium lactate in hot process soap for the exact same reasons you do in cold process soap, only you add it to the mixture once you've kind of got that oatmeal glop going. And what it does in hot process soap is it same exact thing. It helps to harden the bar of soap faster, gives it a more smooth liquid texture as you're pouring. And then finally it makes it slightly more shiny more easy to release bar of soap. Let's see a little bit of sodium lactate in action. These were made less than 24 hours ago, not like not even a day ago. This is the Brambleberry kind of basic holy trinity of oils with the with coconut oil, palm oil, and olive oil. And this one was made with no sodium lactate. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my typical flip over, pull gently away from the sides. I can feel that it's still sticking and I'm going to then push down and I'm watching for that airlock and the airlock is there, which is great. It's still really soft. I did get it out, which is great. You can see that it's really still pretty soft right here. And I'm leaving kind of fingerprinting marks there. Ugh. And I'm gonna give this guy a cut and just kind of see how this ends up treating us. I can hear it glopping but it's you know what it's a pretty good cut so this one is our sodium lactate this one pulled away a lot easier mm -hmm. and whoa okay yeah this one is definitely harder pulled away easier from the sides absolutely no kind of gloppiness or stickiness so it is hard to catch on camera this is significantly more smooth i'm not leaving really any fingerprints this one is like very oh 
Whee! Yeah, it's very soft. Um, that guy, I can push, I can dent, but it's definitely not going in. So there is a very solid, strong case for me, at least in this to be made to go, oh, I love my sodium lactate. So let's go ahead and cut this soap made less than 24 hours ago and see how we look. Ooh, this one started to go through gel phase. I can see that. So two different bars of soap. They don't look that different, but you can see here that this one tore coming out and this one didn't and because of the sodium lactate. And I like that this one is smoother all over. One of the areas that sodium lactate really shines is in the detail work of molds. Sodium lactate, since it hardens the bar of soap, makes those details really come out much better. Now we made these 24 hours ago and I would never recommend trying to get your soap out within 24 hours, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna try it. This is our sodium lactate side. This is our non-sodium lactate side. So here we go there. Oh, wow, that just fell out. That was nice, okay. Here we go, that fell out, that was nice. This is the Brambleberry Honeybee Mold, it's gorgeous. And my details really are nice. This is the non-sodium lactate side. There, there we go, it came out. Details are pretty good as well, but it's tackier to the touch for sure. So here are these, here's these really cute bee molds. This is without, and you know, a little bit of thickness here, it's not so great. A little bit of kind of pulling on the sides. Obviously this was too soft to come out. And then this is with, and these are a lot smoother. You can see the detail work is really in there. There's not a lot of pulling on the sides. And again, I would never ever normally take these out after just 24 hours, but I wanted to show you for demonstration purposes what the difference was when you use sodium lactate with a detail mold versus without. Now, if you're a soap maker and you use sodium lactate, Comment below, because I want to know how you use it, what percentages you use it, any tips and tricks, and are you using it differently than I am? Let's all learn from each other. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to be notified each and every time a new video comes out. And when you make your creations, please hashtag them Brambleberry. We love to see what you are making. You inspire me and you inspire our entire community. Happy soap making. Even more shine. You want me to tell them what it is? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs>